I give my ear to the scholarship. Scholarship is tapas. I know what is it. It's Vidvaneva Vijanati Vidvajjana Parishiramam Nahi Vandhya Vijanati Gurvim Prasava Vedanam Like that. <laughs> so, therefore, so I know how much tapas they have done in their lifetime. I prostrate before them for that. Because I know its value. But having said that, I told you, what all you have done for three hours is Vakya Vichara, not Atma Vichara. In fact, their pamphlet says that, Vakya Vichara, pamphlet says that. And the, the, the one who inaugurates the meeting, who begins the meeting, he also says Vakya Vichara. Therefore, God bless you, you are telling the truth. The truth is, you are only contemplating upon the Vakya, which is printed in a book, which you have learned from a Guru. That is all you are contemplating. You are not contemplating upon Atma. It is not Atma Vichara. There is a distinction between the two. One is not the same as the other. You may be an expert in Atma Vakya Vichara, but you may still remain a bag of bones as far as Atma is concerned. Therefore, the day you move on, move forward, you leave the Vakya Vichara behind and move forward into Atma Vichara. That is when nothing can stop you from knowing yourself. Because they are equipped with all the knowledge, they are equipped, they are ready to know. But they have to take that crucial quantum leap, like Hanuman leaping across the ocean. That is the symbolism. They have to take that quantum leap from Vakya Vichara into Atma Vichara. When Mahatma Swami Ramatirtha made some, some telling comments on this distinction. And even Katha says, Naya Mahatma Pravachane na labhyaha na medhaya na bahunash tutena how you, you cannot be more explicit than that. Therefore, don't try to conceptualize Brahman. Don't try. Give up that effort. Never give logic or the intellect important place in your life. If you push yourself into that mode, somehow, intellect, with intellect, I will know Brahman. Because it is said, Jnana Deva Hi Kaivalyam, that Jnana is not intellect. You give a misinterpretation to the word Jnana, and then you, you push yourself into a mode where intellect occupies a primary place in your life. When intellect occupies primary place, you are in for some real serious trouble in life. Intellect should not be given primary place. The heart that loves knows the Brahman, God, not the mind which is highly intellectual and highly sophisticated. Not the mind, so not the sophisticated intellect. The loving heart only can know. You should know that. Therefore, avijñātaha vijānan sarvāni rūpāni vichityadhīraha Namani Kratva Bhivadana Yadaste It is a Purusha Soktam. So, the, the mantra you should know. So, <coughs> Dheraha Dhyam Rati Iti Dheraha So, the one who knows all. That is you. The one who knows all. So, Sarvajna Haityarthaha. Because you know all. All means what? Eh? All means that which is known to the intellect and that which is not known to the intellect. Both you know. Both you know. So, Kalidasa described in his poem, Karaghuvamsha and Kumar Sambhava in some place, he described a, a, a mountain. It is called Loka Loka Parvatam. 
a mountain. That mountain, this side of the mountain you can see. The other side of the mountain you can never see. Like moon also. Moon goes around the earth, but it doesn't go around itself. It remains fixed. Like that it goes. It doesn't go like that. It fixes. Therefore, one half of the moon is permanently out of sight for people on the earth. That is the dark moon. It permanent. You can never see. Even on Purnima day, only you see the first, this half, not the other half. So anyway, uh, therefore, uh, you know this loka loka parvatam. Loka means that which is known, that which you can see. Aloka, that which you cannot see. Therefore, with eyes you can see this side. The other side you can never see. But interestingly, the one you see you know, the one you do not see also you know. That's why you called it aloka. If you don't know, how do you call it aloka? <laughs> so, loka loka parvata. Similarly, vidita avidita. So, you are the one who knows vidita and you are the one who doesn't know, who knows that which you do not know. That's why we say all the time, you not only know, but also know that you know. You not only don't know, but also know that you don't know. Therefore, you are Sarvajna. That is the Sarvajna. That is the Sarva. Sarva is what? What, are, what all is the content of consciousness? That is the Sarva. And you know that, Sarvajna. That is the meaning of Dheraha. So you recite this, this uh, mantra daily. Therefore, uh, you should know the meaning. Dheraha. So Sarvajna Atma. Sarvani Rupani. Vichitya. <coughs> so, you see, Vichitya Nirmaya. There, there, there is the Vichitya, Vichir Prathak Bhave. There, the meaning is, earlier, all these Nama Rupa were unmanifest. Like all are made into even crystallized. You cannot distinguish between them. Now, as they are differentiated, you can distinguish one from the other. That is the Vichir Prathak Bhave. That is Vichitya. So you create or you differentiate the all the Nama Rupas. You know all Sarvajna Dheraha Namani uh, so uh, Sarvani Rupani Vichitya having differentiated all the forms then what you do? Namani Kritva You give names like you wake up house a lady a boy Vichitya my house, my wife, my son. Namani Kartva. Abhivadan. Don't even keep quiet. Get up and say, My house. Why should you say that? It is your house only. What do you say? And my wife, you say that also. You have to say. You may not say my wife, but something similar to that you say. In different ways you say, My wife. Uh, in in, in uh, West they may say honey, that means my wife. In South India they say mm, <laughs> something like that. That is the meaning of my wife. <laughs> okay, in some form or the other you say Abhi vadal, Abhi Abhimukham vadan, my house. I built it. Uh, my wife. Mm. <laughs> my son. There is a rule that you should not call the son by name. Therefore, you give it a different name. You, some, you have to give some name, you know, you have to call. Abhivadan, Aste, you abide like that. This is what people are doing. They are the Atma, okay? So that is the Atma. And who knows that Atma? So, Vedahametam Purusham Mahantam, that Atma, which is differentiating, which is naming, and which is. Uh, uttering all those names, that is all the Atma. And the one who knows that Atma, Amrutaha Iha Bhavati, he becomes immortal here and now. Once you know that you created the body, body is an idea in your mind, and you are giving name to it, you are distinct from it, enough, that knowledge is enough. If you know it correctly, if you know it deep within, you are immortal, now and here. So that is the mantra. Ityasminarthe 
Shrutaya Sahasrashaha. So in this meaning, there are thousands of Shrutis. Sahasrashaha. You see, I tell you, our fate is like this. You assert yourself to be what you are not. Got the point? You are not a husband or wife, but you assert that. You are not a Varna or Ashrama, but you assert that. Now, that is not the way to know yourself. Eh? So, and then in asserting what you are not as yourself, you deny what you are. You are, you, you, you are the unasangaha, you are not attached to anything, you are not attached. But that asangata, non-attachment, you deny to yourself and you say, I am attached here, I am attached there. So you assert what you are not and you deny what you are. Time, it is high time that you should change that attitude. Uh, so, instead of uh, uh, finding uh, reasons to assert what you are not, and some more reasons, quite often cultural and religious reasons, to deny what you are. Suppose I assert, I stop asserting what I am, what I am not. Suppose I stop asserting what I am not, what will happen to my family? Therefore, let me continue assert what I am not. Suppose I stop asserting what I am not, what will happen to my religion? Some somebody, somebody will knock off my religion. Therefore, what I should do now? I should assert the religion which I am not. You are not religion. You are, if, if you are a religious man, are you not standing in opposition to every other religion of the world? Is that Advaita? Therefore, you are afraid even to not asserting what you are not, even for that you are afraid. Some, some silly logic comes in the way and makes you assert what you are not. And another logic comes in your way and makes you deny what you are. This is how we live. Eh? So, um, it just means Shrutaya Sahasrashaha. Already I have explained that Pravesha Shruti Tat Srashtva Tadeva Nupra I have explained the Pravesha Shruti. Antaf Pravishta Shasta Jananam. This is another Pravesha Shruti. This comes from Taitriya Aranyaka. The first one is Taitriya Upanishad Brahmavalli. Two. Four, something like that. Antaf Pravishta Shasta Jananam is uh, Taitri Aranyaka. Some, somewhere Swadhyaya Brahmanam or somewhere it is there. Do you know the Ayapa people say the Shasta is there Ayapa only. They say like that. That is not uh, the mantra meaning in uh, the mantra meaning is not Ayapa. Uh, unless you say Ayapa is everything. But, but they crave like that. So this happened one time. I was I was explaining this mantra, Anta Pravishta Shasta Ajananam, that is Swaram also. When I was explaining one Ayyapa Bhakta caught, came and caught hold of me. Hey, you say that mantra again. Do you, did, I, did I hear correctly? What? Shasta. Yeah, you have heard correctly. That is Ayyapa. Do you know what I said? Yes. Why not? That is Ayyapa. Therefore, Antaf Pravishta. So, where is Ayappa now? Antaf Pravishta. <laughs> so, now you know where is Ayappa. So, he asked me, come there. Why I should, why should I come? Antaf Pravishta. <laughs> but anyway, I went. <laughs> you believe me? I went. Well, there I put on black clothes and put a thing here. Went up by walk. Those days, not nowadays, those days. <laughs> Therefore, so, Antaha Pravishtaha, Jananam Anta Pravishtaha, Shasta. Shasta means Antaryami Chartaha. 
So means making the eyes see, making the ears hear, all that. Sa esha eha pravishtaha. Atma, saha esha atma, eha asmin, asmin jagati, asmin sharire. I tell you, you apply to your body, body mind. It will apply to the Brahmanda. There is a rule. Yat Brahmande, tat Pindande. Yat Pindande, tat Brahmande. The division of cosmic person can be nicely appreciated if you apply to yourself. <coughs> then, then nothing conceptual. It is something which is experiential, if you will. Sa esha iha pravishtaha. This is one for Brahadarnya Kopanishad. <coughs> Called Brahma Vidya Brahmanam. Eshata Atma. This is Chandogya. Eshate Atma. Tatva Masishvata Ketu. I think so. Okay. Sa Etameva. Simanam Vidarya. Etayadvara Prapadhyata. This is Aitareya Upanishad, a bit uh, enigmatic description. <coughs> the Brahma, where is Brahma? Here. Here is the Brahma. Are, when Brahma came here? Brahma came into this? Yes. Uh, Kaisa Agaya? It is like Guskaya. Somehow entered into this Brahma, how he entered into it? Can't you see? You, you see a line here? All the ladies have it line. Gents uh, may not have, may have, may not have, but ladies certainly have. That is called Sima. <coughs> Makaranta. So Simanam Vidarya. Don't you know Brahma has opened it a little and entered inside and again closed. <coughs> That's why ladies in North they put like that. Because Brahma has opened it, Simanam Vidarya, Etaya Dvara, Dvara i Trutiya Ekavachanam, Dvara Dvaha, Dvara Udvaraha, Dvaram Dvara Udvaraha, Dvara Dvarbhyam Dvarbhi, so Dvara, Etaya, Strilinga Shabda. <coughs> so through this opening, Dvara, Dvara is opening, you know, door. Through this opening, Antaha Prapadhyata went inside. Very poetic description <coughs> from Aitreya Upanishad. Aitreya Upanishad is like that, a bit complex. So that is how the Praveshya Shruti. Therefore, God has entered into you and already established the kingdom of heaven within you. So look within, search within, discover the divinity within. And be free. Reduce punishment. Home, poor, no, no,